Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Real TC Plays Gunner Heat PC. This video, I'm showing you the differences on how good the original M1's fire control system was, assuming they modeled it correctly, compared to the T72. As you can see right off the bat, the M1's gun sight is a lot cleaner. Since it's a lot cleaner, it's allowing you to get a very good sight picture on it. Plus, on the M1, since you have 3 and 10 power, it allows you to scan on 3, shoot on 10 for daylight. Thermals, it's scan on 3, shoot on 10 as well, but you can't shoot it all in the 3 power because it's just a box. And you can see the huge differences in how fast the M1's fire control system is. You're not waiting on the reticle to move. You don't have to move the reticle to where the laser rangefinder is because right where that aiming dot is in the center of the reticle on 3 power and 10 power, that's where the LRF is. And it's so much easier on the M1 to track, laze, shoot, dump Cadillacs. Because that's how the original M1 and M1A1 works. They work exactly the same. The only differences between those two tanks is the 120 gun. And even despite me hitting things with the wrong round, or not hitting center mass like I'm supposed to on the M1, I still complete this course faster. Even though we're technically shooting at different targets, the M1 shooting at T55s, T72s shooting at 113s and Bradleys and M60s. But still, the course is completed far easier than oh, it's completed far easier with the M1 than it is with the T72. I've said it several times: Is the T72 a bad tank? No. It's just not as good as the M1. But of course, I'm just going off of this model and also assuming that they have modeled this T72 correctly. Since they got the M1 right, it's a very safe assumption to think that they got this T72 correct. Even though I understand where all the targets are, I scan the whole range so that way it's a fair chance for both tanks. And I got pretty lucky there on that last round. Thanks for watching.